All right, everyone, blame Aches. He started the game when we were mid-commercial. I blame him for everything. But with that said, the score is going to be 5-3. to three, And I just want to say, huge shout-out to my boy, J.R. DeBoat, okay, for actually suggesting this to us. So uh, big thank you to him. Make sure you guys hit him up on Twitter. Once again, it is J-R-D-A-B-O-A-T. It's got to give that dude some love because he actually uh, told us how to do it. It was like a ninja patch, apparently. We had no idea because at Columbus, the way oh, we yeah. did it was we just hit spectator and we right. were in the game. So, yeah. you know, we failed. And, uh, I mean, you know, I really don't. I blame Matt. Uh, it's my fault. I take full responsibility. And Revan. For oh, I everything. definitely blame but, Revan. But, you know, right now we're seeing Justice come out and just pretty much they just ran a train right there. They, they scored four times pretty much instantly as the captain came up. And this has been the main, the main flaw in Complexity's game on Go so far is their blitz game is really weak. And it all starts with their defense, which is non-existent. Well, let's uh, jump over to uh, Clayster here from Complexity as uh, Justice is going to score yet again. And this is not going to be looking good. Clayster is going to get taken out. E TP is going to be the one on the prowl. There's going to be one player inside the vicinity there. He's going to go for it. And Tipsy is going to get that goal yet again. And look at that. I mean, look how many caps they have yeah. between them. Four, two, and, and three. And they Absurd. Are just, they are just letting them run straight through Pawn. Well, you have to imagine, too, the goal but look at the way that they're control. pinning them down, Matt. I mean, you have right. to take that into consideration. This is arguably the worst side yeah. to play off of because of because of that factor yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, w once you get that team spawning in that back strip club alley, it's it's pretty easy to keep rallying up the caps. And right now, Complexity needs to make a decision. They either need to go back and clear out their base together, or they need to overextend and try and take over the other team's base. Well, but yeah. you see, Gucci... He's just sneaking it right behind Clayster, and he's going to kill him and get another cat. And this is just not the way you'd want to start a game yep. of Blitz. I mean, this is this is, this is is pretty embarrassing, Golden Boy. Yeah, Pretty man. embarrassing, Golden Boy. Yeah, no, it is. It is. And Tipsy is uh, going to be he's waiting here. He's going to get that one. cap as well. And that's going to make it 14 to 6 here. One minute and 13 seconds remaining. Mr. X, you may have a point there, man. That is, this is not a championship caliber situation here for this team. No, and I mean, you're just seeing, literally, I mean, Study is just running straight through the back strip and just running straight into the goal. And as you can see on your screen, there's another arrow. Yeah. He's moving straight through. Uh, it's on your screen, actually, Tipsy. And he's going to try and – Tipsy's going to try and cut off the strip guy. He gets one, and I think – Look, that, they own their base. That base is going to be clear. And, I mean, you have three – three. you have three Justice players in the complexity base just spawn killing. And I can just imagine the yelling that's going on from the complexity. Yeah, that's right. right. Look here. Study is actually going to be there. Gucci's going to be there as well. He is going to get shut down. Study's going to go in for a cap. There's Tipsy as well. He's going to be able to win a gun battle. Finding another player as well. TP able to come up big on that one. But, I mean, at yeah. this point, we're talking about a 10-cap lead. This is not going to be a good look for No, nah, a 10-cap lead, that's not, how you, that's not how you want your game to look going into the second half. And, I mean, like I said, that was the, the one major flaw. Out of the six maps, complexity lost at MLG Columbus. Four of them were blitzes. Yeah. And, I mean, some went into OT, but uh, some just weren't close. And I, I don't know if it's the style of play that they're playing or they're just not – they just haven't really figured out a, a method that consistently works yet. Yeah. But, I mean, just us just pretty much just whooped them on that one. There's no That's explanation right. for that. I mean, they just they – just but down. complexity could very well keep them pinned in the back of the ship as well for the next one. You know, back club. Absolutely. So that is a very, you know, possibility. I mean, again, they got all those caps unanswered you know, because they held complexity back club. If they right. can, if complexity could replicate that same success, we could very well see them come back yeah. into this game. And the thing is, if you can hold that team back club, even if, even if you hold them back there for a little bit and your teammates can kind of hide out in this top motel, top hotel area, you can get easy sneak caps through there. And right now we're going to see, you're going to see if complexity is going to pull anything different off the break than the usually do and you're seeing one player i believe it's aches going all the way towards strip and he's going to try and wrap all the way around for a quick cap yeah that's right and uh crim six here he's going to be finding a player down there he's going to be able to get that one player over by gas looking around the side finding another he is going to get challenged and he was caught off the reload so he's going to get taken off that's always unfortunate when you see a player getting caught off the reload yeah. like that you know because uh it, it it's kind of like instinct you know uh especially for a player like crim who comes off a of halo where you reload quite a bit in that game. It's right. like uh, just kind of like an impulse at this point. Like I have it. I do it all the time. Yeah, you just reload for the sake of reloading. Yeah, you're like I have. I, I just use like two bullets, and okay. and it's kind of like a, a mental thing too. Thinking like you know, what if I would have won that gun battle yeah. and I would have had you know x amount of points. So. And I mean, right now you're seeing complexity making a strong push for the base, but they just let two justice players go straight, straight into their base, Golden Boy. Really, absolutely nobody, nobody well, playing any defense. Well, they need to actually play that defense there. Yeah. 
Uh, the defense defense would definitely be nice right now. I mean, that their defense looks like the Brooklyn Nets defense right now. I mean, it's Ooh. like the, one of the worst in the league. I mean, the Brooklyn Nets, they were supposed to be good this year, Golden Boy. What happened? I don't know, man. I mean, I'm a I'm a Nick guy, so. I'm a Laker fan, Golden Boy. Well, you're a, you're a traitor. New, New York has ostracized me from professional sports. They don't want me as a fan anymore. How How so? I don't know. Are you a Jet Giant fan or a Jet I'm a Giant fan. Okay, that's strictly, fine. Strictly because my grandpa was a Giant fan. Okay. If I disrespected him, I would not be here speaking to you right now. Probably okay, so that and that and I respect you for that. Right. Okay, because if you weren't and you were like a Pats fan, we'd have problems. Oh, oh no way. There's no way. Because you can never There's be a Pats no, fan. There's no way I'd be for fan. anything Boston. Boston's the worst place ever. <laughs> Actually, that's, I lied. I like you guys from Boston, but I hate your sports teams. <laughs> well, you know, as a, as a Giant fan and as a Celtics. Yankee fan... And as a Nick guy, <laughs> let's just say, I'm not, I'm not the biggest yeah. fan of Boston sports. No, and I mean, right now, if you're a complexity, you can't be trading caps. I mean, yeah. they brought it back a little bit. You're only down by uh, what? No, you're down by eight. Eight. I, mean, I, mean, I actually ended up being. Brought it back a little bit. They were down, they were down seven, seven in down that ten. last round. Or no, were they down ten? Seven, ten. Oh, yeah, they were down seven, ten. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, as you see, there is literally no defense going on. And right now, the way you have to kind of play Blitz is. You have to have one guy who's strictly defense, just watching, just watching your goal kind of, but also watching it, it, it away. So yeah. let's say on this side, for instance, you would have a guy sitting up in top broken, watching like far left side of the map, and then you would have a guy in pawn or top pawn watching strip, watching the cross. Yeah. So you can both see mid map, he can see your cross, you can see his cross, and then you have two guys who pretty much play. Strictly just rushing, just flooding. Well, so look right there, right? Clay actually looked like he was that guy playing that position um, and then ended up pushing up, right? So now right. that's going to leave the backfield no, wide there open needs for to them. Be more patience there. Yeah, there, there, there does need to be more, more patience, patience there. I do agree. But they do got him pinned back club, yeah, though. So they, this they could be the opportunity they that they needs, needed. They need somebody to pick up that far, to Crim's far right, so they mm. can't do exactly what they just did. Yeah, and it seemed like uh, the player that ended up getting there, he was not in that top broken, which did allow yeah. uh, Justice to be able to break out of that one, and that's not going to be a good look and here as they... Right now, Ooh. I think if you're Justice, you really don't need to play defense. You can just... Because you know, at this point in the game, Complexity needs to cap pretty much consistently throughout the whole way to make a comeback. That's it, true. They can't trade caps with you. So if you force them to play defense, they can't win. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you have to. Uh, you have one minute left on the clock here, but you are going to have four caps, so, uh, Mr. X, so remember that. And yeah. you do have TP and Aches going absolutely massive right now with uh, nine and nine five and Krim even also yeah. adding to that too. But there is going to be another score there as it is going to be a five, five goal game so between these I two mean, teams. So I mean, in about two seconds, it's mathematically impossible. I think. Right? Yeah. Yes. So then right now, it's mathematically impossible. Justice has won this splits game. Yeah, that's right. And there you have it. I and mean, an extremely high scoring game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they let it get away from them in that in that first yeah. half, man. And if complexity would have been able to answer back, and and again, like you said before too, they they could have very well have won this game if they would have eyes looking over on that right side there of the club yeah. to make sure that Krim was going to be able to pick the kills on the cut there over in that mid street. That could have been that right. opportunity that they needed. But that is certainly not going to be the case here as no one will be in a position to make a goal happen. And that is pretty much going to wrap things up with the last 16 seconds left to play. You can see players interacting with one another in the middle there. Gucci is going to be the last man standing. You see Eggs pushing up inside of Motel, able to take one out. Might try and go for that last minute cap. Just, you know, not Pass that. Pass stats a little bit. So Pass stats a little bit. Yeah, you know. It's all and about them stats. Ten caps there for Eggs. So even including that one cap that really didn't matter. Yeah. He's still got to give him credit. He had nine caps overall in that matchup. That was a great win by him. But at the end of the day, though, Complexity just could not come through with the W, and that is pretty much going to wrap and things up. You don't see anybody really going huge for – I mean, example went huge, I guess, for uh, just us. Played the, the defensive role. Man, but he played that defensive role, and that, that's what really separates teams on blitz is your kind of – your guy who guards your base, how well he can find people who are hiding in there and just – be attentive to who's out and who's missing and who needs to be picked up. Well, you know, it, you got you to gotta mention this, right? You got to talk about Curse Las Vegas at Columbus. I, you know, I was talking with Stainville about this, and I mean, you want to talk about a guy who played his role, right? right. Like, Stain played Stain his was... role in Octane Blitz. Like, he watched the 
you know, that, right. that far left portion of the map, the, the pawn shot portion of the map there, and also watched the mid, and he had that one player that was pushing on the right yeah. side by club until they were able to get that cut, and then that's when Stain was able to divert his attention over to the right side, and they were able to hold yeah. him off. Like, that is how you play no, that absolutely. role. If you and that is a great, that's a great role to have defensively. I mean, if your defender can kind of just watch one side of the map, you don't even need a set defender to watch the other side. If you just if your team just keeps flooding that side, nobody's going to get through because if you just keep pushing it, you're picking up or trading those kills on that side of the map. Yeah. So I think right there you just saw from Justice. I mean, nobody really went big, but they pretty much dominated the whole game just because they played the, they knew how to play Blitz better. Yeah, that's right. So, but Justice is going to go up into series two to one here in this best of nine. Of course, let's see how complexity is going to answer back in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. We are going to have a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to have the continuation of this best of nine series between complexity and justice.